fireballs from the Halley's Comet will light up the night sky as the Eta Aquarid meteor shower peaks this week. The Eta Aquarid is a prominent annual meteor shower that produces spectacular displays in the sky. In this video we'll tell you how to enjoy this celestial show of the heavens. If you are new, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos on physics and astronomy. One of the most frequently asked questions is what produces meteor showers? There are many asteroids and comets in the solar system that keep orbiting the Sun. Annual meteor showers occur when the Earth passes through a stream of the debris, left behind in the wake of comets and asteroids. Over time the pieces of grit-like debris in these streams distribute themselves, along the length of the parent object's orbit around the solar system. Shooting stars are spotted whenever one of these pieces of debris collides with the Earth's atmosphere, typically burning up at an altitude of around 70 to 100 kilometers. Every meteor shower has a parent body associated with it. The celestial body responsible for the Eta Aquarid meteor shower is Halley's Comet, that visits the Earth every 76 years. Meteor showers are an annual phenomenon, and they do not mean that their parent body is coming for a visit. It's just that the Earth is going to pass through the debris of that object. To watch the shooting stars, there is one crucial thing that you must know. Every meteor shower has a unique point associated with it. It is called the radiant of the shower. It's the point from where every streak will appear to originate. Although the meteors can appear anywhere in the sky, their path can be traced back to the radiant. A shower produces its best displays when its radiant is well up in the sky. The radiant of Eta Aquarids lies in the constellation of Aquarius. Although visible in both hemispheres, this meteor shower is more prominent in the south because Aquarius is a southern constellation. Observers in the south can expect up to 40 meteors per hour. In the north, the shower rate will be 10 meteors per hour depending on your location. In the northern hemisphere, Eta Aquarid meteors can more often be seen as earth grazers, Earth grazers are long meteors that appear to skim the surface of the Earth at the horizon. Since the radiant of this shower rises after midnight, you'll have to be an early bird to catch them. Look a little away from the radiant point in the pre-dawn hours of May 6, till the shooting stars are lost to the morning twilight. You can use the space apps given in the description to find the radiant according to your location. But you don't have to stare at the radiant, look a little away from it. Don't miss this meteor shower as the next significant one will occur in August. Good luck with watching the shooting stars.